I'm Richard Vaughan. I'm an Associate Professor of Computer Science here at Simon Fraser University and I run the Autonomy Lab, which is a lab where we work on intelligent robots. We are part of the NSERC Canadian Field Robotics Network, which is a countrywide uh, project to, uh, to push really hard on robots for, for practical outdoor applications. In our lab, we've been doing work on uh, particularly multi-robot systems and uh, software for large-scale robot systems. So we have vehicles on the ground with wheels and fl flying robots, and uh, we do a lot of work with robot teams where we have interaction between robots and interaction between people and robots. Our aim is to make robots more, more capable, uh, robust, uh, self-reliant, and able to do useful work in tough environments. There's a lot of different applications for some of the technologies and techniques that we develop in our lab. So we help biologists and medical doctors by making instruments and systems that are very, very small, that help them study maybe uh, cells in new ways, help them make portable diagnostic instrumentation. Instead of just having electronics on chip, you can also do these sorts of like little chips that have fluid channels on them. At SFU especially, there are a lot of opportunities for undergraduate students to do research. Being able to actually go into the professor's lab, I think it gives the students a completely different view of learning than is what you get in, in the more formal classroom setting. Water and sustainable water is a major concern. In most of parts of the world, the aquifers are already gone, dried out. The ultimate goal is to build a greenhouse, completely self-sustained, that does not need water connection or energy. We are also working on a next generation of this, which uses only like waste heat or solar energy from the air. So we are hoping to provide this completely sustainable way of providing clean, potable water to the planet. My name is Carolyn Sperry and I am an assistant professor here in mechatronics at Simon Fraser University. So my area of research is all around understanding human injury and taking our mechanical theories and our mechanical understanding uh, from an engineering perspective and understanding how people get hurt and applying that towards preventing injury, uh, diagnosing people with injuries and ultimately trying to treat more effectively people with injuries. The technologies that were in the clinical practice were many years behind the technology that's available in, in engineering realms, and so how do we get those things up to date, getting the most effective tools in use so that we can get the best solutions we can get. 